We are calling on Imani. We are calling on Occupy Ghana, CJA, and so on. Occupy Ghana should not waste their time petitioning against Domilevo. Their real target should be Osafo Mafo, yeah. who at least has been found by a constitutional body, state institution, to have taken money for the wrong purpose. And for which reason the money is being called to refund the money. If you are a civil society organization, that should be where your interest will lie. The attempts to remove the Auditor General from office is part of a sinister move that will paralyze the audit service, which has been effortlessly undermined by actions of Mr. Yaosafu Mafu and Professor Bia Ajemai when they engage private audit firms through sole sourcing to conduct parallel audit activities that are under the jurisdiction of the Auditor General. There is an orchestration to have a puppet smuggled into the Auditor General's office, as has been done to other otherwise independent public institutions since the assumption of power by the Kufuado government. This must be resisted if our nation must move forward with any hope of fighting corruption in our public institutions. If we allow President Akufuado to hound uh, Domilevo out, the signal it sends is that don't fight corruption if you want to maintain your job, wherever you find yourself. Number two, a puppet will be put in his place to now come and cover up for all the loot that has been perpetrated by this government. And that is the agenda that is beginning. And that is why we are drawing your attention to it. Rather than hounding Mr. Domelevo, we are by this press conference calling on President Akufuado to immediately order the arrest and prosecution of Mr. Yao Safu Mafu for the breaches of the Public Procurement Act. We demand an immediate cessation of the hostile victimization of Mr. Domelevo by the Akufuado government. President Akufuado must demonstrate that no one is above the laws of Ghana, including Mr. Yao Safu Mafu. Ladies and gentlemen, it is curious to note that the Attorney General, Ms. Gloria Efua Ekufu, has put before the courts some appointees of the previous NDC administration for allegedly breaching the Public Procurement Act, this same Public Procurement Act. We wonder why the Attorney General is not showing the same interest in having Mr. Yao Osafu Mafo arrested and charged. 